In this video, we will learn about waves. We will see what are the waves, how are they generated, and what do they require to travel from place to place. Part 1 What is a wave? We call an event or happening or action a wave when it repeats itself with time. For example, on a windy day, a flag waves in which it repeats its motion. Similarly, crops and trees also wave in the wind as they repeat their motion. You must have dropped a stone in the pond and noticed ripples traveling outwards. If we represent it graphically, it will look something like this. Here horizontal line denotes the direction in which ripples are traveling and the vertical direction shows the direction of movement of water particles. You can see here that motion of particles in water perform same type of motion. Part 2. What are the type of waves? In this wave motion, the movement of a particle is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. Such waves are called a transverse wave. There are waves in which particles move in the same direction as the wave, such waves are called longitudinal waves. Compression and rarefactions in spring is an example of a longitudinal wave. Part 3. Wave is energy. In waves, particles do not travel with a wave, instead when a wave reaches them, they perform certain movement and when a wave passes away, they come back to their natural position. You can think of the wave as the traveling form of energy. When you throw a stone in a pond, you impart some energy to the water particles, this energy gets transferred to other particles in the form of a wave and as the energy reaches far away particles, they perform a similar motion as the nearby particles. Everything around us can be understood as wave. Light is a transverse wave, sound is a longitudinal wave. Part 4. How is wave generated? We have established that wave is a traveling form of energy. Wave is generated when our energy source releases the energy. This energy can be passed from one place to another by medium particles or carry out by particles emitted by source itself. For example, when we speak, due to force of muscles, particles around the mouth start vibrating, these vibrating particles then cause nearby particles to vibrate. Whereas in case of light, photons, which are emitted by light source, carry light energy from one place to other. This also suggests that some waves require a medium to travel from one point to other whereas others can travel without any medium. There is no medium between earth and sun and since light waves do not require a medium, they travel through space and reach us. In the part 2, we will discuss how to measure a wave by measuring various parameters such as energy, speed, wavelength, frequency, time period etc.